gotta love technology. Now I don't want to focus. No. There it is. There we go. <laughs> you ready? You sure? 100% positive. A okay, ready to do this? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm doing the intro. Yeah. Shoot. You ready? Okay. Hey loves and welcome back to another episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Hello, I'm T and this is my wife Tay. Hey y'all. I I thought he knew, so I paused. I let him come in. He's been used to doing the intro, so um I think he's a little off, but we got this. We did it, right? No? What okay. Partly my fault. Partly. I guess just a little bit. Anywho, thank you guys for joining us again for another episode of Pillow Episode. <laughs> episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay. It's been a long day. Mm. It's been a long day. We are truly grateful for having you guys and for your continued support and for watching us each week that you do. Thank you for the newcomers that have joined on. We are truly grateful, blessed, and honored to have you guys. So definitely keep watching um, as we end March with this video and trickle on into April with the spring season is coming. I'm so excited. You guys can see all the nice, lovely sun we've got coming in. Um, the weather is breaking. So I'm just excited. I love when it's nice and warm outside and the sun shines. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Um, today's episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Um, maybe a little uh, touchy for some people, depending on like your thoughts and opinion of it. Um, we just ask that you definitely either leave your comments or ask questions or whatever in the in the comment section below and let us know what you think about our topic and how you view it so our topic for today is how do you feel about living with someone before marriage do you think it's necessary do you think you shouldn't like where where are you with that like how do you feel about it um you want to go first so your thoughts with it or you want me to go first i want to prime the pump you want me to prime the pump and go first I want you get, to. get the ideas out there first yeah get that you know and bring the turn in and get that debate going the, uh, what well it's kind of a debate but i yeah. guess i guess well okay so my thoughts about living with someone before marriage i believe it's necessary um nowadays because you want to know what you're getting. Um, I know like some people may think, well, no, that's not right. Biblically, you shouldn't uh, live before someone before you get married. But a lot of times some people end up in divorce because they don't understand and know the habits of the person that they're taking on. Like they don't know whether or not that person is a clean person. Like they may come out on a date with them all nice, fresh, smelling good, ready to party or whatever. And you go to their house and, okay, on a date, they got the house all nice cleaned up. But on a regular, continual basis, like, are they cleaning on a regular or are they just cleaning because you showed up? So you don't know that. You don't know their habits at night. Do they snore? Are they a grinder with their teeth? Like, there are a lot of things that come into play that could make or break a relationship. Um, granted, there is compromise. We talked about that before at the very early on. There's compromise in certain things. And there are certain things that you can compromise on if you truly love that person and that person, you and that person are uh, compatible and you're in that wavelength together. There are things you can compromise on. But I think it's important to live with someone before you commit to marrying them. Um, as far as how long before you decide to move in together, that's every situation is different. You know, you have to make that um, decision on your own on whether or not it's time to move in together or whether or not you should move in together. But um, I think we, I think it's it's helpful um, because, it, again, it lets you know the habits of that person. You let you know if they are a smoker. They may not be a smoker around you, but then you, if you're living together, you see that person day in, day out. You It also tells you whether or not you can tolerate that person. 
every single day. You know, that those are things that are important before you say I do and before you make that long life term commitment because marriage should be long last should be lifelong, a lifelong commitment. It shouldn't be um ones that break up. Of course things happen to where you do have to divorce or have to separate or people pass away within a marriage. So things happen along the way that does make it to where you couldn't avoid a divorce or you couldn't avoid, you know, um, being widowed or whatever, what have you. But if it's because of habits as to why you broke up or why you decided to um, end the marriage, then those are some things I feel like if you live together beforehand that you can prevent. What do you think, Beth? Well, good. Mm-hmm. You said a lot. And, uh, <laughs> we all said a lot. I'm yeah, always saying a lot. You said a lot, you know. Yeah, any 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 way, I mean, you and I discussed it, you know, any way to prevent um, the unequally, uh, the e- e- any way to ease the coming together, I say. Because nowadays, you know, everyone has either a child or uh, different ages, too. I mean, uh, it's different circumstances. You may be coming out of college and you got the expense of college and then you also got the uh, schedule of work, the demands of the job. And um, it, look, you, you really need to understand everything's moving fast pace. And you really got to understand each other's uh, goals and how their lifestyle is if you're seriously wanting to come together. Yeah. That I think that lifestyle word is a good one because that's kind of that's definitely showing you how this person is and how they you know go about life on a daily like understanding their lifestyle, yeah. who they have around on a regular, and if that's something you want to put yourself or if you guys are um, blending a family, if you want to bring the children around. Like I mean, because a lot of times when you're dating and courting, because I don't know some if people still court or not, you should. But a lot of times when you're dating and courting one another, you put your best foot forward. Mm-hmm. And when you're living with somebody, they get, you get to let your hair down and really um, allow your natural self to come out. You're not so tense trying to make the best impression of a person. Granted, I'm not saying because you live together, you shouldn't, you know, still um, pre- be presentable and, you know, keep yourself up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I know a lot of people when you're dating, you're putting the best foot forward in this dating because you're trying to uh, gain that relationship from that person or what what have you, whatever your goal is when you're dating someone. Um, you're putting your best foot forward. But when you live with someone, they get comfortable. And when they get comfortable, you really start to see a lot of things. And then you're like, can I do this? every day every night for 20 30 years with this person is this my she is this is this my he you know am i willing so i mean lifestyle is a good one it really helps you to know what else or what other thoughts i I I don't know man i'm I'm all over the place with this topic here this topic could have been uh, maybe a month long because there's so many facets of it that uh, you think of when c- coming together. You mentioned blended family. You, mm-hmm. you know, you mentioned the lifestyle, and then just the uh, how one handles finances. You know, that's a big stickler. Um, you got to know. Yeah. Because people handle finances differently. Somebody you know doesn't know maybe how to even handle finances. Well, do you feel you have to live together to know how someone's handling finances or should you discuss that prior to even getting to the point of living together? I still think you have to live together for it because a lot of things can be, I can keep a front on how well my finances are. You know, I could come in the best address things and I can take you to the best food places and I could be broke as, you know, I can be just broke (laughs) and not show it. I can have the best car, but my payments are economically high, you know, but if I'm living with you, you see all that. So you see all the habits. The, all that is exposed. Yeah. And uh, then we know that these things are some things I can live with or I can live without. And uh, then I know if we can go further in the relationship. Okay. You should discuss them up front, but not everyone will. Okay. 
And I think too, with the blended piece of it, you definitely got to be careful on putting to living together when you have children, because they're going to get attached to that mate that you're bringing them together with. So if you are not truly committed and saying that this is the next step in the process before we say I do, then don't bring your children into this mix because it's going to cause a rift in them because here it is now you're pulling them together with someone that they think mommy mommy's going to be with so-and-so or daddy's going to be with so-and-so and then once you find out you can't live with that person now all of a sudden you're just saying and now you've caused the kids to now have yet another rift or change in their life you know that causes emotional ties and attachments as well so we're not saying when you first meet someone and you, or especially when you have children, okay, go live together immediately. I mean, some situations it does happen that way, you know, and it works out, but a lot of them it doesn't. So just make sure you know that you're since you're truly sincere about starting this relationship and moving to the next phase and, and deciding, okay, okay, if I move in with this person, that means we're going to move on to the next phase. You're trying to figure out, making sure that that is the next step. Like, you you can tell, you can see telltale signs on, of people. No matter how much they try to put on the facade, you can still see those telltale signs. So just listen to your gut, pay attention to the flags, and stop ignoring them. And just keep your mind open, but keep your um, eyes open as well. Don't get distracted by all the glitz and glam of it all, if that makes sense. Or even in some cases, the easy way out. Mm -hmm. Say if you are in need of uh, someone watching your child or need of mm -hmm. financial support, don't rush into a relationship in that manner and coming together. Don't do it. It's, you're, you're, it's devastating when you go to go that extreme about it. Uh, there's other ways to do and there's maybe, you know, working it out on your own because once you bring in someone else, like my wife said, you get the kids are involved, and if there's no kids, then you get maybe just attached to them in the financial aspects of it, and you're used to that support, mm -hmm. and um, that's not the way to be. Uh, you want to be able to be supportive without the individual, and then uh, come together and work on your weaknesses and, and, you know, make it blend together. And if you don't have children, it's even, even greater. It's the same scenario. Okay. So from what I'm hearing you saying, what I said, that I think it's necessary. So you think it's necessary? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I do think it's necessary. All right. All right. So do you have anything else on it? Well, I just know that as far as did you, you didn't say anything about cleaning us, you know? I did. Yeah, In the beginning, I was okay. like, if, you know, you know whether or not they cleaning okay. themselves, they keep the house clean, you know, yeah. all these okay. things when you're living with someone because... Yeah. All of that, they get comfortable. Yeah. I'm telling you, people will get comfortable when they're in their own space. They will literally let their hair down and you will get to see everything. Yeah, you know yeah. if they're a scratcher. Yeah. You know if they're a toe picker. <laughs> you know if they're a nose picker and, they're eat, uh, and yeah, if they eat their it. boogers. You know, I mean, you yeah. know these things because that's it then. When you're at the table with them at dinner or out on the outing, they're going to put on their best show. Yeah. But at home, they will show it all. Yeah. Okay. So. You got it. All right. Okay. So what we want you guys to do, if you would, please, somebody, mm -hmm. not somebody, anybody, you guys, let us know in the comments yeah. um, your thoughts on this. Do you think it's wise to move in before marriage or do you think you should wait before moving in and move in after you get married? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Share it with us in the comments and let us know and we can go from there as far as discussing it. Yeah. But that's all we have today on Let's that see. topic. We got straight to the point, right in on it, how we feel about it. Again, this is our opinion, mm -hmm. our thoughts with it. It worked for us. It doesn't work for everybody. Right. So we're not suggesting, oh, everybody go do it. But I'm just telling you what worked for me, what worked for my husband, and how it worked, how things played out for us in the long run by doing it this way. Yes. So. And keep in mind, we said before marriage. <laughs> so the intent is to be get married. Yeah, at some point. Not draw it out. Be roommates forever. No, that's not what we're saying. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Feel good. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, we really and we really enjoy like talking yeah. with you guys and sharing the comments yeah. and topics with you guys. So definitely keep watching, keep listening, and uh, we'll bring more content to you next month. Yep. Thanks, guys. Yep. You guys, stay safe. Bye. See ya. What do you mean my clock is like this? You always go there. What? What does that mean? You just do. You say I'm a busy, like a busy bee? Mm -hmm. Me? Excuse me. <laughs> How, uh, excuse me, sir. You were me. Are you talking about me? Of course. <laughs> Why are you talking about me? That's not nice. I thought you liked me. You don't even like me? Of course I have no rebuttal right now. Why not? No more topics. <sighs> Just okay. all about business. You know why? Yes. It's fine though. Be that way. I'm gonna love you. I want you to come closer though. Yeah. Technical difficulties. We know. Why? I used, to, I used to get frustrated when people use the camera for the mirror, but now I'm that person. Yeah, you are. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Let's do this. Alright, in other words. Dang, was kind of close to my face. Y'all see the torture I go through with him? Ah, I couldn't resist. I nah, know. he would never. No, no, I wouldn't. He values his life. She values hers. <laughs> <laughs>